Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're going to talk about something really important for 5M developers, especially if you're tired of fixing errors the hard way. I know most of you use ChatGPT for your servers, fixing errors, debugging scripts, even I used it a lot. We've had multiple AI tools recently, even dedicated AI just to fix bugs and issues. But here's the problem. And this is why I personally don't rely on ChatGPT anymore for serious debugging. The biggest issue is context. When you paste an error into ChatGPT, it doesn't know the full context of your code. It doesn't know how your files are structured, what's connected to what, or what changes you made before the error happened. Yes, newer versions do give better explanations, but most of the time, you still end up copying code blindly, pasting it somewhere, and hoping it works. And if you're not an experienced developer, that's the hardest part. You don't know where exactly to paste the fix or why it works. Sometimes you upload files. Sometimes it hallucinates fixes. And because it doesn't see the entire code base, debugging becomes painful, especially for beginners. Now let me introduce you to something really powerful. It's called Cursor. Cursor is basically VS code, but enhanced with AI built directly into the editor. And this is the key difference. Cursor reads your files live. It understands your folder structure, your files, your changes, and it updates suggestions in real time. You don't need to upload files every time like ChatGPT. Everything is already there. So let's head to the Cursor website. You can download it for Windows, Mac, or Linux. Just pick whatever suits your system. One important thing. Make sure you sign in, usually with a Google account. When you log in for the first time, you'll most likely get a 7-day pro trial. You might need to enter card details, but just make sure you cancel before the trial ends if you don't want to continue. It's safe, just don't forget. It might also ask you to connect GitHub. If you don't use GitHub, you can skip that part. Once downloaded, installation is super simple. Just click Next, Next, Done. If you have an SSD, I highly recommend installing Cursor on it. It reads files faster, processes AI responses quicker, and overall feels smoother. Installing it on a normal hard drive works too, but it might feel slower on large projects. The first thing you'll notice is that it feels just like VS Code, but darker, cleaner, and more focused. For this demo, I already have a bunch of bugs inside QB Core. And as you can see from the console, it's completely flooded with errors. Now, one big advantage of using Cursor is that you can open a large resources folder and let it scan through everything. And yes, that works, but I honestly don't recommend doing that. Opening a huge resources folder can take a lot of time. It can confuse the AI, and most importantly, it might not fix the specific issue you're trying to solve right now. That approach only really makes sense if you're hunting for a major issue across multiple scripts or doing a full audit. Instead, the best and most efficient method is to open only the folder where you know the problem exists. In my case, I'm opening QB Core because I'm already sure that's where most of the errors are coming from. That gives the AI clear context and lets it focus on fixing the actual problem quickly. That part is really important. Smaller scope means better results. So now that the folder is open, let's go ahead and see how Cursor handles these errors. Now here's the magic part. I simply copy one error from the console, paste it into the cursor chat panel, and that's it. No prompt, no explanation, just the error. Cursor immediately figures out which file the error is coming from, what line is causing the issue and how to fix it, and it applies the fix directly in the file. That's the biggest difference. Now I tried something more extreme. I asked it to fix all errors in the folder, because this was a big folder with multiple files, it couldn't fix everything in one go, mostly because of token limits. But after running it two times, it fixed everything. And honestly, I didn't even watch it fix the files. I went and grabbed a coffee, came back, and my console was clean. Now as you can see, my console is completely clean. I didn't touch a single line of code manually. Cursor handled everything on its own. And to show you how powerful this actually is, let's try another real-world example. I've got a small script here that checks jobs and gangs. For this demo, I intentionally added a bunch of errors. Syntax issues, 
logic mistakes, all of that. Let's see how fast Cursor can fix it. Now, one really important thing about Cursor is transparency. Every time the AI makes a change, you can review exactly what was modified. You can go through the file, see where the issue was, and understand what the AI changed and why. Nothing is forced. At the end, you simply accept or reject the changes, which makes this a much safer way to use AI compared to blindly copying code. This is also huge for the learning curve. You're not just fixing bugs, you're learning how the code works, how the issue was identified, and why the fix makes sense. So instead of guessing or pasting random solutions, you're actually understanding the logic behind the fix. And that's what makes Cursor such a powerful tool, not just for speed, but for learning and improving as a developer. Now I do want to be very clear about something. AI tools, whether it's Cursor, ChatGPT, or anything else, have limitations. First of all, AI does not care about security. It will do whatever it needs to do to fix the error, even if that means moving sensitive logic to the client side, which is dangerous. That means if you blindly trust AI-generated code, someone with malicious intent could exploit your server. So please understand this clearly. AI should be used as a learning tool and a temporary error fixer, not something you rely on 100%. Always take time to review what it changed, understand why it fixed the bug, and learn from it. I've personally seen AI place server-side logic into client files, and that's really bad practice. So never use AI blindly for full projects or installations. And one very important rule, never use AI to install scripts. Installations usually require editing multiple files correctly, and AI can easily mess that up. That being said, this tool can save you hours. I've gone from spending six to seven hours fixing bugs to resolving issues in minutes. Not because AI replaces developers, but because it helps you identify the issue faster. You don't need to pay developers just to fix small bugs anymore. For deeper audits, optimizations, or custom features, yes, you should still hire a developer. But for day-to-day -day bug fixing, AI plus a bit of learning goes a long way. So if this video helped you, make sure to share it with your friends, share it with your dev team, and even share it with other server owners. Drop a comment and let me know if this actually helped you. And if it didn't, comment that too. I'll help you figure it out. Use AI responsibly, learn from it, and don't depend on it blindly. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm thrilled to announce that Codeine has officially surpassed 7,000 members on Discord, making it one of the best 5M developers and server owners hubs. Fueled by this increase in member count, we've added developer AI bots to help fix code snippets for users facing issues. Moreover, users can also create logos for their servers using our logo-creating AI bots. With support for all frameworks from thousands of developers, you'll also find all the necessary free items needed to start a simple roleplay server. So what's stopping you from joining? Join now!